Hi guys, happy Friday, we did it. Week three of distance learning almost done. And guess what? We got a new book in the mail and it is called Perfectly Norman. And it's by the same author as Ruby's Worry. Remember that book? It was bright green. This one's like a bright orange coral color. It's really pretty. Here we go. New picture. Love new books. Makes my heart happy. They smell good. Okay. Norman had always been normal. Perfectly normal. Until one day. He grew a pair of wings. Norman had imagined growing taller or growing a beard like his dad but he had never imagined growing a pair of wings. Still, they were here now, so he decided to test them out right away. Soon, Norman was swooping around and generally having the most fun ever. But then, he had to go in for dinner. You see, Norman had always been so normal, he didn't know how his parents would feel about his extraordinary wings. As he went in, Norman covered himself up in a great big coat. His parents didn't notice the wings, but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat indoors. Bath time was problematic, so was bedtime. The coat was hot and uncomfortable, but Norman had decided that no one should see his wings ever. The next day, Norman went to the park but he was far too hot to play any of his favorite games. And so it went on. Long car journeys were unbearable. The swimming pool was dreadful. And that was nothing compared to his friend's birthday party. The only time that Norman could feel normal now was when it rained. One day, a boy tried to pull off his coat and Norman had to run away, hot-faced, angry, and sad. He wished he'd never grown those wings. Then he saw some birds high up in the sky and remembered the joy of his first flight. It occurred to Norman that it was the coat that was making him miserable, not the wings. Why don't you take that scruffy old thing off, suggested his mom and dad. Norman looked up at them hesitantly. His parents smiled and nodded. Norman smiled back. Then he threw off the coat and let his wonderful wings fan out. Norman leaped into the air. Finally, he was free of that coat. He noticed a few other children wearing thick, heavy coats of their own. They looked up at Norman and around at each other nervously. There was a moment, let's pause, and then... Whoosh! The sky was filled with flying people. Norman had never felt so happy. He realized that there was no such thing as perfectly normal, but he was perfectly Norman, which was just as it should be. And that is the end of that. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. I miss you. And today in the comments for this book, I want you to tell me what you would do if you grew a pair of wings overnight. All right, bye guys.